vast majority of the uh, world's population is not at any measurable risk of HIV infection. No measurable risk. Growing up in the age of AIDS, I was taught there were three certainties in life. Death, taxes, and contracting HIV from unprotected sex. I did a study of the heterosexual transmission of HIV in California, and we recruited individuals who were infected with HIV. Then we recruited their sexual partners, and we looked at whether transmission, in fact, had occurred. Pabian runs a study. It's a 10-year study with the world's most virulent, terrifying sexually trans... I mean, this thing jumps, excuse me, off of penises into vaginas miles away. How many of them do you think after 10 years with the world's most terrifying, virulent, sexually transmitted disease came up positive. Not nobody. Nobody. Nobody who was negative came up positive. Zero. I think HIV is more difficult to transmit than other sexually, than a lot of, probably most other sexually transmitted diseases. I mean, I think that's pretty widely known. If I were to have unprotected sex with somebody who is HIV positive, how many acts would I have to engage in before I got the virus? Just one. Just one. I assume one would be enough. First act? One is enough. Remarkably, HIV is a difficult infection to transmit. This contradicts everything I was ever taught about the sexual transmission of HIV. It really is a virus that's relatively difficult to transmit and requires very specific situations for it to transmit. AIDS is the best example of what's really scary and alarming and dangerous about our culture right now, which is that it's a culture of, of PR. It's a public relations phenomenon. The truth doesn't matter. What matters is the image. If we were talking about reality, the reality is that AIDS is over. It's very easy to get people to think the right thing if you get the right on the tablet the first time. But once something's on the tablet and you gotta erase it and put something else, it's very hard to get people to think differently.